So here's a fun topic to discuss. What if Game Freak introduced a Pokemon with three types in the Switch games, or really at any point in the future? What would it mean for the future of Pokemon? And what about the Pokemon of the past? What about the meta? The meta would get wrecked. Maybe. Which leads me to believe that Game Freak would never do it. The Pokemon games seem to have been being aimed more and more at younger audiences, and remembering three types and how they interact with each other seems complicated, especially when you try to work out their weaknesses. Maybe they could limit the maximum weakness to being times four, like it already is, but expand what those weaknesses are with having the third type. Both weaknesses and resistances, too. But regardless of what they do, which already existing Pokemon would gain a third typing? That's really what this video is about. So let's go in Pokedex order and cover which Pokemon I think would gain an additional typing if three type Pokemon ever were to exist. For example, isn't it about time Charizard got his dang dragon typing? Fire flying dragon? I mean, I get why Charizard isn't a dragon. Dragon was a very overpowered type back in Generation 1, but now it's very balanced out when you consider all of the Pokémon, so it's time Charizard could get that. And shouldn't Venomoth also have the flying type? Butterfree is bug flying, and the only reason Venomoth isn't is because it's bug poison. Each of those aspects define this Pokémon more so than its ability to fly, so add flying now. And alright, it isn't a third type, but let's give Psyduck and Golduck the Psychic type that they deserve! Back in Gen 1 it was fine. Psychic was a very powerful type, so they limited it. But again, Psychic is much more balanced now, and Psyduck and Golduck are known for doing Psychic power stuff, and Psychic is in the name! Do it! The Alolan forms of the Golem line replaced the ground type for electricity, but besides being magnetically charged with electricity, they are otherwise their same groundy, rocky forms underneath, so I'd say they should be made rock, ground, electric. And, now I'm not 100% sure about this one, but the Gengar line, maybe even just Gengar, or maybe even just Mega Gengar, but I could see adding Dark to their Ghost Poison typing. Their Pokedex entries point to them being quite the Dark Pokemon, eating lost people's souls, or even just anyone walking the streets at night just for fun, stalking them in the shadows. The Pokedex even says that there is no escaping it. Give up. Now there are tons of ghosts that you could say add the dark type to, but really ghost does kind of connotate darkish things as well. The only ghost dark types seem to be the Pokemon that are both ghostly and especially dark and evil for being ghosts, which I'd say the Gengar line is definitely the most of that, according to the Pokedex anyway. So I get why Executor is Grass Psychic and Alolan Executor is Grass Dragon. I won't go into those details here, but Alolan Executor only learns one Dragon type move, and just as many Psychic moves as the Psychic type version, so shouldn't it probably be Grass Psychic Dragon then? And Gyarados should have the Dragon type added as well, Water Flying Dragon. It learns plenty of dragon moves and is based on a Chinese dragon. Dragonite learns a ton of electric moves and is commonly shown using them to the point where it's an electric dragon. And the whole line is loosely based on air elementals, which are commonly depicted as being quite thunderous and zappy. So give it electric type. Ledian is a bug flying ladybug that is based on a Japanese superhero, Power Ranger stuff. And as such, it should probably gain the fighting type as it loves punching really, really fast after all. Anorith and Armaldo are fossil Pokemon based on a trilobite and an anomalocarus. There, I said it right. As well as some aspects from Brine Shrimp. All three of these are sea creatures, and these Pokemon learn a few water moves. But every fossil Pokemon is one thing rock type. And it seems that this fossil's rock typing overwrote its water typing, making it rock bug instead of water bug. There's even another set of Pokemon based on the same or very similar things, Golisopod and Wimpod, and they are water bug. So I'd say give these Pokemon the water type as well. Rock bug water. Tyranitar has no reason to not be ground type like its previous rock ground evolutions. They evolve by eating dirt. So much dirt. But then it gets mean and territorial, so it gains the dark typing, and okay. Sure. But if they added a third type, just give it ground back. Rock, ground, dark. Something that has perplexed people for eons. Why is Lugia, the guardian of the oceans, protector of the oceanic currents, not water type? I mean, it has super powerful psychic abilities and it can fly, so psychic flying still works, but come on. Water psychic flying would fit better thematically, I feel. But it's not as big of a deal as Stinkin' Celebi, who is literally a fairy. 
And it's not fairy type. I mean, it was introduced before fairy type was a thing, so understandable, but when they gave fairy type to a bunch of other Pokemon and even changed some Pokemon's typing to fairy, they should have changed Celebes. That's how flustered I am. I can't speak. I mean, if a bulldog is a fairy type and a fairy isn't, something's wrong. Terribly, terribly wrong. And Dustox has the same issue as Venomoth. So up until recently, there was only one bug water type Pokemon, Surskit. But when it evolved, it lost its water typing for flying. Lame. Masquerain even has rain in the name. And it's based on a moth, a damselfly, and a lanternfly, all of which hang out very close and even in the water. So bug water flying, it should be. And shouldn't Vibrava and Flygon be ground dragon flying? Again, Flygon has fly in the name. It's based on a dragonfly and an adult antlion. It has crazy wind powers too. It's the spirit of the desert creating sandstorms. How do you do that? By flapping your wings. What do wings give you? Flying type, except in this case, apparently. And for a bit, I was thinking Solrock could add fire to its psychic rock type, but that would leave Lunatone behind. And Solrock only learns two fire type moves anyway, so nah. Latias and Latios are psychic dragons who are based on jets, and they do nothing but fly. Flying is their whole shtick, so maybe add flying type, but again, they don't actually learn any flying type moves naturally, and they also don't have any signatures of birds, no beaks or talons and whatnot. And I feel like psychic and dragon both kind of point to the possibility of flying, so they don't necessarily need it. The fairy type has a lot to do with magic, and it's a better way of saying magical type. And Jirachi is a wish-granting cute thing, and yet it's not fairy type. It's steel psychic. So slap fairy on there! Also, Piplup is a penguin, and I'd be down for it evolving and gaining the ice type as Prinplup, and then after evolving again, it gains steel on top of that one evolving. They do learn plenty of ice moves, and they're penguins. Skorupi is a poison bug type that evolves into a much bigger and much stupider looking scorpion, but it swaps out the bug type for dark, even though it's a bug! So we just give it right back. Gliscor looks like it could be dark type, but it's ground flying instead, though it does learn plenty of dark type moves naturally, but other than it just being a predator and kind of creepy looking, it's not that dark or evil at all. Still, as we covered in my dark type video, there are dark type Pokemon that are that type for significantly worse reasons, so just give it to them. Now, if the rest of Gallade's evolutionary line are psychic fairy, shouldn't it have the fairy type too? Psychic fighting fairy? Well, maybe, but maybe not. The fairy type is often associated with pink girly princess things, and looking at the male-only Gallade, it's more so based on the prince rescuing the princess, fighting for her. So maybe don't add fairy type there. Here's another tricky one. All of the Rotoms. Rotom is a little electric ghost that can possess electronics and take them over. For example, it possesses an oven and swaps out its ghost type for fire. It possesses a fan and swaps its ghost type for flying. In the context of only having two types, this is fine, but while possessing something, Rotom is still a ghost in there, and is deserving of those ghost weaknesses. A spirit medium can still attack a ghost even if it's possessing a refrigerator, it doesn't suddenly lose its ghost properties. So give ghost back to all of those forms. Dwebble is a small bug rock hermit crab living in a pebble. When it evolves, it has a chunk of the Earth's crust on its back, literally a slice of the ground so why isn't it ground type? I mean, there are rocks in there too, and the crust tends to be harder than just the ground, but still, let's go ahead and make it bug, rock, ground. Stunfisk is a ground electric fish. It's a fish. So why not have the water type? Again though, there are actually some good reasons for it to not have the water type. It just happens to live in the water, but both ground and electric fit it slightly better. It also only learns two water moves, and one of them is Muddy Water, which is almost a ground move. So while you could add water to it, I wouldn't. Volcarona is another moth, and just like Venomoth and Dustox, it isn't flying, but bug fire. Maybe Game Freak just doesn't like moths. Hmm? Moths are so much better than butterflies. Curum is good. It's an ice dragon, but then it can merge itself with Reshiram and Zekrom, becoming white or black Curum. These forms, I think, should add the typing from Reshiram and Zekrom, so fire or electric on top of the dragon ice. 
Chestnut is basically a knight. It's covered in armor, it has a shield, and it can withstand bombs! BOMBS! BOMBS? BOMBS! BOMBS? It's all about its hard shell, and yet its typing is grass fighting, both of which work, but I would consider giving it the steel type. Though, only if they let it learn some steel moves as well. There's no point in having a type unless you can learn moves of that type. UK and Malamar are other odd ones. Being squids, you would assume water type, again, but they don't even learn any water type moves naturally. They are psychic and dark instead, which works a lot better for them. You could add water type to them, but it wouldn't benefit them much. They don't exactly swim fast or have mastery over water or anything. They just happen to be able to breathe it. So I'd say leave them as is. What we should add the water type to, though, is Dragalgi. Its first form, Skrelp, is poison water, but water gets replaced with dragon, as it's a sea dragon. What people call sea dragons. It's like a sea horse, but a sea dragon. Why doesn't it have water type, though? It's still just as watery. Aurorus and Amarara are rock ice fossil Pokemon. Again, I think them being fossils is the only reason they are rock at all. But either way, it should gain the fire type. The fairy is what I meant to say. Either way, it should gain the fairy type. The polar light, the Aurora Borealis, has so much mystical, magical myths surrounding it, and it's incredibly beautiful and pretty and sparkly. Very fitting of the fairy type. Decidueye loses the flying type when it evolves, turning into Grass Ghost instead of Grass Flying. Even though it isn't a ghost itself, it just has a ghostly flight and ghostly powers. But it still flies! It's a bird! It should be Grass Ghost Flying in this case. And some may argue for Incineroar to gain the fighting type if this were the case, as it's based on a heel wrestler, the wrestler actors that are the bad guys. And maybe becoming Fire Dark Fighting would be good for it, but... I like the idea of it not being that more. It gives it a weakness to fighting, and being a fake wrestler... It would tend to mean that if an actual fighter with years of training got to you, you'd probably lose hardcore, so having that weakness to fighting fits Incineroar tremendously. Turtonator is a turtle landmine that eats sulfur and lives in and around volcanoes! Most of the other lava and volcano Pokémon are fire ground or fire rock, and having this rocky shell and being a landmine I'd say it should get the ground or rock type. Probably ground. Becoming Fire Ground Dragon. Also, why does it have to be dragon? I know it's based on some mythical dragon thingy, but it only learns one dragon type move and can only learn two others through TM. That's nothing. Also, it's the least dragon looking of all the dragon types. It's a turtle. And again, the argument could be made to add water type to the grass ghost Delmise. It's the kelp attached to parts of a sunken ship. It lives on the sea floor, doing all sorts of nasty stuff, and it learns a few water moves. So I could see it, but it doesn't need it though. It has no mastery of the water. Again, it just happens to live in it. But it itself is just a ghostly piece of kelp with some wood. And. There are plenty more, I'm sure, but I thought I'd leave some out, like Jinx, so that I could hear your thoughts. What are some other Pokémon that you think could have a third type added if Game Freak ever decided to do this for some reason? And yeah, in all likelihood, it's never going to happen, but it sure is fun to think about. So until next time, please remember to never stop using your noggin and keep on thinking about your games.